Um, we've we've covered presupposed Earth radius, pressure without a container, angular resolution, perspective mm-hmm. hi- hijacking Earth curve. We've covered Boyle's law. Uh, we've covered diffraction limit. The one thing we haven't touched on was mirages. Give us give us the most ridiculous excuse of, of a mirage that you've had. Well, uh, the mirage is an interesting um, one because this is probably one of my favourite points to make as a flat earther, especially when someone says there's no no proof of flat earth. So mm-hmm. I'll give you an example. We'll use Ranty and one of his images. So he has a picture of a clock tower at about 20 miles for, uh, at Barrow in Finesse, and it's just a picture of a clock. Now, as a flat earther, I look at this picture and say, clock at 20 miles. That's the end of my explanation. As a flat earther, I can make that statement. I'll say it again. Clock at 20 miles. Now, if you're a fundamentalist religious zealot, then that's not a clock at 20 miles. That would be a slightly looming, non-standard refraction, high in a holographic projection of a clock from behind the reified edge of a sphere based on an R value and a begging the question proof of nothing perspective hijacking curve calculator to turn a (laughs) clock which seems to be there into a clock which is not actually there. That's what you have to assert if you're a globe head. So it's not a clock, it's a holographic projection of a clock from behind the reified edge of an earth curve based on a begging the question proof of nothing perspective hijacking curve calculator. As opposed to me, that's a globe head explanation, I say clock, 20 miles. You're the man, Nath. You are the man. I love the way, it's the way you taste, the way you say it. It's the way you say it. It's just, you serve people like the Wimbledon final beautifully. It's poetry in motion. It genuinely is.